just got to the shop and I was gonna pick up where I left off yesterday on the Mark V. I opened this garage door, went inside, got my computer out, and I heard the heat gun on. I'm like, who is touching the heat gun right now? No one is at the office. And I got come out here, and Oscars is here just getting to work. And TJ is like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna beat someone ass. I'm like, <laughs> whose ass could TJ possibly beat? Like, maybe Calvin, <laughs> yeah. but you never know. Calvin. Hey, baby, you don't know what I be practicing uh, at home. Uh, I know Taekwondo. Oh, okay. uh, Taekwondo? <laughs> I know uh, Mexican judo. You don't know who you're messing with. <laughs> Oscar is here today because when we started unwrapping the front bumper yesterday, we noticed that the whole entire front bumper was wet sanded. Because it's wet sanded, it gives this hazy, almost like matte black finish to the car. And if you guys don't know, paint is actually gloss black. So as we're unwrapping this, we're trying to be very, very careful with the peel paint so it doesn't have to go back to SOS for Oscar to repaint it. So I called him yesterday and I was like, hey, do you think you could help kind of clear all this stuff up so we're gonna peel up all this wrap and then Oscar's gonna try to buff all this out and try to bring back the polish so big shout out to SOS big shout out to our boys we're gonna get to work here and try to get this off so Oscar can go get to work this morning bit of an update. I'm here. Second thing, Oscar is working on the other side. Okay, all right. <laughs> can't, can't have that. Oscar is working on the other side. I took apart this front bumper, so all these panels, this one and the front fascia there so that he can get in this area. Unfortunately, what we found out as well is that this whole side skirt has been sanded, so this has to stay off the car. Oscar's pretty much done with the right side of the car. It looks beautiful. This car looks really good in black. I'm super surprised. Almost to the point. Well, I personally liked it when it was purple. I just love this car. Unfortunately, mine is... It's blue! A blue? It's a blurple. It's a blurple. It's a purplish blue, it's but a, it's blue. It's definitely not No, purple. it's purple. I think you need to ask everybody around here. I'll even... Take a bigger piece, sir. What do you mean, take a bigger piece? Okay. All right then. Yeah. I will even lead it with blue. Is this blue or purple? Okay. No, just uh, be like, what color is this? Okay. Right. What color is this? Is this like that dress, that dress what? meme? Is that yes, yeah, it's here? a dress meme. What color is this? Purple. That's definitely. Wait, 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 okay. wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. okay Can okay. I hold it? Can yes, hold of course, it? of course. Yeah. Bruh. I'm gonna say purple. Okay, okay, okay. What color is this, Vic? Violet, you know why? Why? Remember in uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and they're like, Violet, oh. you're turning violet? That's the color. Okay, okay. She okay, turned. Okay. What color is this? Blue. Blue? Okay. Blue. What color is this? I thought they said in Willy Wonka that she turns into a blueberry. Yeah, she was like turning into a blueberry. Her name was Violet. Her name was Violet, but the line is the mother says, Violet, you're turning violet. Oh, I thought she says, Violet, you're turning into a blueberry. I don't know, I'll have to look it up. <laughs> Play back the clip. Violet, you're turning violet, Violet. About. No, it's, it's not blue. Yes, TJ doesn't even, he wasn't even born for that. Who, what's, who's saying it's what? Oscar's saying it's blue. It's not blue. It's purple. It's purple, violet. The real yes. color title, it's actually called purple norple. <laughs> I would just like to say as the owner of this color, it is blue, it is not purple. The color is even called like blue raspberry, gloss blue raspberry. The color is blue. You guys in the comments are always like, it's blurple, it's purple, it's blurple, it's blue. Oscar, I hate to break it to you, brother. Violet purple. What? Violet purple. What? Only Becky said it was blue. What? That is violet, my guy. This is blue. No, it's not. It that is has a purple cast to it. Nah, it's but the pur purple, bro. You are. Did you ask these guys? I haven't asked these guys. You want to ask, ask them? These guys. Okay. Hey guys, we have. It's, it's, pur purple. it's purple. We we had this discussion yesterday. I was the only one here that says this is purple. These guys say it's blue. It's it's blue with the purple cast. It's, it's blue. It's no, it's, it's blue. I don't see any purple in that. That is purple. What do you mean you see no purple? Is that is blue. literally purple. It's literally blue with no, the purple cast. No, this is blue. This is blue. That is, I see more purple in that than I purple. do that. This is, <laughs> that's, 
This what? is blue. When you're looking at it up close, it looks purple E, but when the car is coming at you, it, the no, car's blue. No, I mean, blue. the car is the car's blue, blue, but it, it has a purple ca cast to it. Like the side tone gives it that purplish look. If there's a hint, I Excuse see me, sir, I have a question purple. for you. All right, everyone's on the line, everyone's debated about this, but what color is this? Like, what color family does this belong to? Purple. Oh my God. Here, here, let me see. That's a blue car. That's purple, bro. It's a royal blue. That's purple. Oh, it kind of looks blue okay, on put camera. Okay, the Falcon <laughs> It kind of looks blue on camera. Banner. This is purple. That's purple. The vinyl company even says it's purple. My man here uh, runs a body shop, <laughs> a paint shop. He's You're a paint. Yeah, he's yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. you, you didn't tell you he's colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> look at. See, see, look at this. It's oh, kind of uh, it's, it is close to that. It's purple, but that's gonna... blue. On camera, that is so blue. It's unfortunate, it's really. It's blue. It's purple. Okay. Oh, it looks blue Get on camera, color. dude. Get Yikes. The color purple and put it next to Whatever color it may be, it doesn't matter. What's actually important is that this needs to come off of the hood. Because so I'm the, gonna. Because the blue is just. Stop. The blue is just. Don't blue. listen to it. <laughs> Still got some progress to do, but the Supra is back and we're ending it with a little banner install. Kev Jumby's mobile banner service went out of business, unfortunately. Actually, no, I'm subcontracted for Jumbo's. Oh, you're contracted business. via Kevin? Yeah, yeah. Are you Kev, sure? Kev hired me, he's too busy. I think you have a great opportunity to run your own business here, Mick. Maybe I'll buy a van and just go around and do mobile installs. <laughs> Great idea. It's a million dollar idea, right? You think so? I don't know if there's that many banner installs to be done. Maybe windshield, may maybe roof. Maybe Mickey just ended this off. This is our, the new banners from Straight Hunter. I'm terrible at cutting banners. That's where the whole joke comes from. I always screw it up. So shout out to Mickey for help laying this down. You guys saw the wheels go on, but dude, I can't even tell you how hyped I am to see this car back. These wheels are icy. And right now, I'm proud to announce that Throttle is actually doing a promotion on these rotiforms. If you order a set of rotiforms from Throttle, you'll get free shipping. Shipping is not cheap when it comes to wheels, so you guys can take advantage of that. Links will be down below. And of course, if you click my link to Throttle, you can also get a discount while shopping at Throttle. Damn, did I get these on free shipping? I sure hope so. Yo, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I low-key was kind of on the fence about the silver finish on the faces, but seeing the car out in the sunlight and seeing the car like looking cleaner, I'm actually a super big fan of it. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna point out my flaws. We went with a 305 30 19 in the back. I wasn't able to get the 315 Falcon I wanted, and I was hoping it would work. I don't hate the rear tire, but I feel like it could be just a tad bit taller. I could just be tripping. I just ordered a 10 mil spacer, and I'm gonna see if maybe if I just throw the rear tire out 10 mil, if it just gets a little more aggressive, it might be a little bit better, or I can order a 325 R888 and have mix matching fronts. The 325 would help fill out the gap and it would give me a taller sidewall, which that sidewall is what's gonna make the tire look a little bit bigger. Or it could be tripping and it looks fire. Let me know what you guys think down below. After I took the car out yesterday, I started to notice there was a lot more residue throughout the whole entire car. So today, before we actually finish this thing up, I'm gonna try to illuminate all the stuff on top of the roof. There's actually some of it on the back side of the rear fender too, but I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm really trying to get the angle here, but there's just like some weird streaky marks. It almost looks like dried glue. Oscar left his buffer here for me. And let's, uh, let's see, oh, there you go, right here. Let's try and pull all that out of the car. Make it look a lot nicer. <laughs> So I just finished this quarter section right here and that was just the compound and it did a lot. So here's the mirror finish and then if you go over to the back side of the car, you see all that haze? That's what we didn't touch. So I'm gonna go ahead and do compound on the other three sections of the roof. Then we're gonna run it back, do it all over again with the polisher and really bring out the gloss, but I'm really happy with that. That's just five minutes in. Damn, look at that improvement.
This is sick. It's been a while since I've had the Mark V home and now that we have the Mark IV home, parking these things right next to each other, kind of a trip. I always say this, I never intentionally choose a black car just because it's so hard to keep clean. When you have one clean, look, look at the mirror finishes from polishing this thing the past two days. Looks so good. This car needs it desperately, but when they're clean, when they're parked together, it looks pretty sweet. So I actually have a few things that I brought home today that I wanted to show you guys because if you ever saw the episode where I brought I think it was close to like 20 different kind of wheels. Really, it was two wheels. I brought 14 Blitz 03s and I brought six or eight LMGT2 raised wheels. I dropped them off at three piece. I got a bunch of them back recently and I wanted to bring home my LMGT2s because a few of them I had built just so I could put on display at the house. And as you guys may have seen recently, I put my Blitz 03s or I put, those are actually Randy's Eliminates. I was gonna run those on the S14 build um, and those are more of like a stance set up. They're pretty big and I was gonna run those and I decided not to run those. And ultimately, I decided to keep them and just put them on display in the garage. So I'm gonna like, you know, fill up the rest of the garage with cool wheels. But over here on the right, I have some Nismo goodies that I recently acquired. I think I showed you guys all the other little Nismo trinkets that I got. But I was like, dude, my LMGT2s would look so sick right there. So let's take these things out. I'll show you guys a closer look because I'm super hyped on these wheels. So here is a set of Nismo LMGT2s. These were wheels that were offered from the factory and they are raised wheels, multi-piece. This was originally intended for the R32 GTR. That's where it was really popular. Um, it's just a really cool five spoke design and I got a few of them just because I recently had just become so obsessed with them. I got them powder coated gloss white machine finish on the inner face and I did polished barrels with gold hardware. Now we're missing this little piece. I actually, one of these cabinets that I have of spare parts and things you guys haven't seen yet. I gotta be careful what I'm showing you guys. Aha, these are the original center caps that will actually snap into place if I can do this one-handed. Yeah, yeah, boy, that's dope. Oh, that's so cool. These are kind of beat up, but these are kind of I don't know, I've had a hard time finding these. So if anyone sees these, I actually need to order a few more of these for the other LMGT2s that I have, but that looks so good. So I'm gonna put these, or attempt to put these up there at the Nismo crates. That looks so sick, dude. Oh my gosh, adding some new wheels to the collection up here. So I need to buy another sticker. I didn't get to put it on this one yet. I bought a few of them and I um, already used the rest of them on my other set. Oh, of these are cool. LMG, these are fire. LMGT3s. Twos. Oh, damn it. LMGT2s, it's okay. <laughs> so sick. So you're just not gonna put, what about the other two? Well, I have more of them, mm. but those. Those go for. Sh those are for something else. Oh, sh don't tell them. All right. Just in case I drop it, I was like, Sabrina's gotta get it on film. <laughs> Please don't drop it. Please don't. Don't wanna see me cry? No. Yes. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh no! He did it! Here, I hand you this one. I don't know about that. I don't know if I- Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Please. <laughs> Hold on. Stop, stop. You're gonna scratch the lips. They're all brand new. <laughs> Oh, dude, scare me, bro. <laughs> she, she laughs. <laughs> it's all fun games. It's because I'm scared. I'm scared of if I messed up your wheels. Oh, Mr. Hilo, uh, what is daddy doing? I don't know what you did. Take yeah. a step back. Yeah. Oh, shit. Should they be flat facing or should I have them curved? Or is that kind of cool? Flat facing. Like, should I have them angled? Um, I think they should be flat, one on each side of the blitzes. No, because this is oh. the Nismo section. Oh, that's the Nismo section. This is the I kinda have section. an angle. I want them flat. Or the kind of... What is this section? I don't know yet. I don't know. Pictures of me? You are of no help. No offense. Me? Yep, you're of no help. Hi, I think those look good like that. Asking for your opinion, yeah. Oh, that looks like garbage. Shh. Yeah, that's they why. They need to be tilted. They need to be tilted. What do you mean? They need to be like... Make them look good. Maybe like this. What do you think of that? Ah. 
I want to give a big shout out to 3 Piece US because they are the ones that rebuilt these wheels and refinished them for me. And if any of you guys are looking for an old wheel or have a wheel that you want to make into a 3 Piece wheel or you have a 3 Piece wheel that you want to get rebuilt, change the specs, change the color, refurbish, anything like that, they are local to us and uh, they've done a lot of great things for us. They're very, very cool. So they are the guys to go to when you want something to get rebuilt. I am so happy with that and that is just the start. We have literally so many more coming. Big love to 3 Piece. As some of you know, I have a P.O. box linked down below in the description. So if you don't know what that means, if you pause the video or use this time as I'm explaining it to explore it, if you go beneath the video and click like show more or something, you'll see at the very bottom of the description, it will say send me stuff here. You guys are usually always asking uh, where to send stuff through my DMs or through my email. So I literally pay a, a yearly subscription at this place so you guys can send me whatever you want. And I try to go to the PO box every once in a while and pick up some stuff. I have thousands and thousands and thousands of letters from you guys over the years and I've gotten tons of packages. And I actually have a bunch of packages right down here and letters. So I thought, why not we, why not do a little bit of a mail time? So I'm gonna open some of the packages that you guys sent. Mail. We'll see what it is. There are tons of letters in here, so I will probably read this on my own time, because this will take forever to go through, but I will open all of the DMs. Wow, look at this, that even has like a little wax melt on it. Wow, dang. This is actually to you, Sabrina, not to me. You just said to open all these DMs. Did I, did I really say it? Wow. Let me have my letters. That's sad. Here, this one has your name on it, so you can have that. Um, this actually says TJ Hunt. No, it says Sabrina on it. No, it says TJ Hunt. Oh, oh, <laughs> this one, this one says your name on it. He sent us too. Looks like it was from. I just realized my camera wasn't recording and I started to open some stuff. Shout out Venture Duckling, they sent little water bottles here. And these are designed to fit perfectly in a cup holder of a car, which is pretty cool. Whoa, cigars, hello? Bravana Cigar Club. Cigars, you got, you got my attention. I don't know how long this has been sitting in the PO box or been sitting in mail, but I hope these cigars are still good. I think they're still okay. Oh, he had a little, hell yeah. Whoa. Been watching since you had the 90, I wanna say congratulations, all your success. I've noticed you've been smoking cigars lately and I included you to try. I'm part of Provita Club, therefore I get some limited edition cigar. Johnny. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. It's like Christmas morning out here. This one is really heavy. I used to do these unboxings from you guys all the time when the channel was smaller. I felt like when the channel was smaller, I almost got more stuff from you guys. I think because I spent more time unboxing all of it. But if you guys enjoy watching this, let me know and I'll definitely do them more. Okay, this is from Fantic. There's nothing inside, but from what I can tell, oh, it's an air inflator? Wait, yo. I actually just went to the store and bought one of these for the house, just in case, you know, we have a flat tire because we don't have an air compressor here at the house. But this looks like a really fancy tire inflator. Super cool. There's nothing attached to it, so I feel like there's one little spotlight in the vlog. So congratulations, brother. You got yourself a spotlight in the vlog. I think you go like this, you go like this. Holy crap, this guy sent so much stuff. Elevate Supply Co. Damn, you literally sent like 10 different t-shirts, bro. Damn, damn, damn. And we got some stickies. Oh, this is from Bert. What's up, Bert? Thank you, Bert. Shout out to Bert. I appreciate you, brother. Use code IRONMANFAN1 and we'll save you 10% on the Elevate Supply Company store. Thank you, Bert. This one sounds like there's metal inside of it, or it's broken. One of the two, I don't know which one it is. I wanna give you this as a token of appreciation for your hard work and to see your excitement. Hope these fit and go well for the FD. Could it be? I have a guess as to what this could be. I assume these are belt buckles or seatbelt clips for an FD RX-7. I assume that's what they are. Sean Sky, he said he sent these during Vlogmas of last year. These have been sitting for a while. I apologize, it took me this long to get it, but if these fit the FD, I will be so happy. I, ho I hope this isn't a prank. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate it, brother. Love the vids, man. I make hot sauce. I love hot sauce. Ross, thank you. Let's open it up. What do we got? Oh, we have a few different hot sauces. 
Dude, me and the boys are like hot sauce fanatics, so you don't know how much this means. Rosses, sauces, your packaging is dope. These flavors look amazing. I gotta say, I'm excited for the Garlic Reaper. I cannot wait to try these. Thank you, Ross, from Ross's Sauces. Hey, some baseball caps? I love me some baseball caps, baby. Yo, San Diego Padres hat? LA beanie? SD beanie, Faith by Lewis, I don't see. I don't see a letter in here. And a t-shirt. Brother, I appreciate the lid. I didn't see anything from you, but I appreciate it, dude. This is a nice hat. This one says open soon for the 240SX. I don't know what it could be. I don't know how long this has been sitting in the PO box, but hopefully it's not a part that you saw that I needed and I went and I bought it anyway. I saw in a video you put where you got McDonald's in the 240 and didn't have cup holders, so I designed one based off of some math using the video McDonald's cup size reference really hope even if you don't end up using it I would still love to know that my math is right <laughs> you guys love 3d printing stuff and sending it to me that is so cool the 240 is at the shop so I can't test it right now but I will bring it to the shop and we'll see if it fits thank you so much brother hey that's pretty cool I love your videos I thought I'd make you a custom sign that you might like I run a small business called Deep Creek Wood, if you ever need something custom made. Thank you, Dallas, I appreciate it. That's pretty dope. The Supra is back, and if you guys missed that car as much as I did, I'm excited to drive it. I'm excited to actually get that thing back on the road, and we have a big turbo on there with a new tune that I haven't even dove into yet. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys very, very soon. And until then, peace out, and keep moving forward.